this. There's a drop off that occurs like 60 to 70 yards in front of this uh, bulkhead. So that's what we want to get it right on the edge of the drop off. All right, let's do it. So you don't have to cast it too hard. Perfect. Good spot right there. All right, so here we got some brown crab fish bites. We got a makeshift rig right here, one ounce weight, two pieces of fish bites. We're gonna cast it out like along the wall here, probably like 10 yards off the wall. We're looking for a uh, smaller fish for dinner. So uh, let's cast it out real quick. Maybe we can get some. We're gonna cast this over here. Right along the edge. I'm gonna sit on my drag. Cast it up. Check it out. I think it just got hit. Something messing with it. Wonder what's on here. Oh, we got it. Look at this. This is going to be our bait for next week. Black drum, guys. Cool. Check it out, yo. This is gonna be our bait for next week. If you know, you know. Nice little black drum. I gotta measure it first. Actually, it has to be like 14 inches, I think. Here we go. We're gonna measure real quick. Oh, perfect. Slot size. Look at that. This is a little bigger than 15 inches, but it has to be at least 14. So we're gonna keep that. So far, so good. We just got it like 10 minutes ago. And we, we can use that for bait or we can eat it. So we'll see. Or actually, you know what? We can fillet it, eat it, and save the head.
What's wrong with the boys, Rusty? Another whitey. Look at uh, that little, little fish galore today. everybody here we are on the beach side of the Texas City Dyke you see when people come out here and fish what they do is they always go to the very end they fish, they fish the circle at the end of the road it's always packed there you don't always have to go there to catch fish you can actually catch fish throughout the entire area I've done it before but right here the, the beach side is severely overlooked nobody ever comes out here you see nobody's out here nobody's out here fishing nobody's swimming and the good thing about this is if you can cast far enough you know, get a little wet, get your waders on, go like knee deep and cast out pretty far. There's an instant drop off like 60, 70 yards from the beach here. So uh, we're gonna do that. And we're also gonna probably fly out of bait. Try to get out like 100 yards out there and see what happens. All right, so hopefully uh, we land some. Right now off camera, we actually caught a nice whiting. Southern kingfish. On a uh, Walmart double drop, three ounce weight. A team out with 10.6 on the Saragossa, so hopefully we can land some more bait. Let me get this out real quick though. Yeah, you don't even have to walk out if you want at all. Pick this up. This crab's been out for like a day. It smells terrible, it stinks, it smells like a super. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna keep it intact. I'm just gonna take off the legs, the claws, and I know a lot of people like to quarter them or half them. I'm not gonna do that because out here there's a ton of catfish. The catfish obviously cannot chew or swallow whatever, you know, through this, the shell, but bull rays and drum can, and some sharks too. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna, I'm gonna cut the, the legs off, the pincers, the paddles, and I'm gonna cut off the, the carapace right here. It'll release some juice and some scent. Fly it out, perfect size right here.
you know, that meat right there, that's gonna release the scent. The other side, perfect. I can check that out, nice crab. That's about the size that we're gonna use. This is a great size for big boar is. Bloody nice. Wow, round two. This fish should stay on now.
fish. There's a fish on. Oh, he's way out. That's why I feel so heavy. y'all nice pull right at the tcd look how big this fish is big old bull red and this is one of the ones that we flew out like a hundred and some yards out there it took a long time to reel in check it out y'all big old bull red out 120 150 yards maybe something like that 
So uh, I was gonna actually reel in to check lines. So I'm reeling in the uh, the Okuma 8000. I'm reeling it in, and then like I feel like this one uh, I see it kind of like you know I was like losing tension on the line. So I was like, man, I think I you know I think I crossed my own lines. So when I'm reeling in, I was like, I must be reeling in the other line too. So I kind of I put it down, I tighten this one, and then I see that it's starting you know it's going like this, and the drag hook starts going off slowly, and then slowly, and then it finally gave a good tug. So I put that line up. I came over here, started fighting this fish. At first, it felt like dead weights because mainly I didn't register that it could have been a fish because, like I said here, you know, like it starts out real shallow, it goes like a, one, a foot, two feet, three feet, and then it goes 10 feet, 15 feet. So, like where I got the bait, I got the bait over the hunt, over the, the drop off. So, when you reel it in, the, 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 the sinker brings up resistance going uphill. So, and then finally, when we got over that hill, that's when the rest started fighting finally. So, and then, uh, yeah, we fought it for like three, four minutes, mainly because of distance and how heavy it is. And it also heavier because I was also reeling in my other line. So I just reeled in two lines at the price of one. So yeah, I'm about to fly another crab out. I'm gonna cast another crab out too, and hopefully we'll have another one.